And finally tonight, a few words about the Supreme Court, America's most respected adult-assisted living community. <laughs> now, as you, as you probably know, there is currently a vacancy following the death last February of Antonin Scalia. And just a few weeks ago, President Trump announced his nominee. In a primetime reveal, President Trump unveiling Judge Neil Gorsuch as his nominee to the Supreme Court. Yes, Neil Gorsuch, a man so blandly handsome, it feels like you saw him on page 14 of any J.C. Penney's catalogue <laughs> or as second lead in an erectile dysfunction ad. He is... he is aggressively Caucasian. He's like a white Tim Kaine. But... <laughs> but there is... there is a lot for Democrats to be annoyed about here. Not only is Gorsuch extremely conservative, Republicans basically stole this seat because Merrick Garland, who Obama nominated 11 months ago, wasn't even given a hearing. So the debate now is whether to filibuster Gorsuch or confirm a man whose place on the Supreme Court will always have an asterisk on it, which actually puts our show in a tricky position as well. As you may know, we have an all-dog Supreme Court to <laughs> reenact oral arguments since cameras are not allowed in the courtroom. When Merrick Garland was nominated, we held a vote to choose his dog, and you, the people, chose Molly. Sadly, <laughs> Molly never got to serve. She's on a farm upstate with a lot of grass and toys to play with, not unlike the actual Merrick Garland. <laughs> so, technically, we should be finding a dog for Gorsuch now, but we're not going to do that. Instead, to reflect the fact that Gorsuch's nomination is a historical aberration, he will be getting an animal that will constantly remind us that it has no place in that spot on a dog court. What I'm saying is, Gorsuch is getting a lobster. That's right. <laughs> we're going paws and claws up in this piece. But we still need your help to pick a lobster Gorsuch. So tonight, we are asking you to advise and consent on the choice between these three glorious lobster justices. <laughs> all of whom, like Neil Gorsuch himself, have absolutely no business being here. First up, there is Cindy Clawford, a strict constructionist who believes that life begins at the piercing of the abdomen with the first pair of pleopods. In the middle, there's Pinchers von Schellington III, a staunch opponent of judicial activism who pairs beautifully with a light tarragon cream sauce. <laughs> and finally, there's Mike. His teeth are actually a gastric mill located in his stomach, and he's just a fucking lobster. <laughs> so choose wisely, America, because this is a lifetime appointment, and lobsters can apparently live to be up to 100 years old. Who knew? So, visit our Twitter feed and choose Cindy Clawford, Pinchers or Mike, or tweet your thoughts using the hashtag Claw and Order. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next week. Good night.